where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, folks. It is a beautiful morning here today. And before we go any further, folks, don't forget, leave a thumbs up, please, and leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel out, and uh, it encourages me to keep on digging. <laughs> but anyways, today I'm headed to a couple locations that I've previously dug at before, and uh, hopefully going to clean up a few things there. And also hoping to do a little bit of exploring around and finding a new site to dig around in, so that'll be pretty good. So. A few moments later. Okay, folks, I'm back to another site. Excuse me, I am out of breath from coming through the woods in the snow. Straight away, I see what I come for right here. Nice emerald green cork top liquor bottles. There were several of them in this site I want to come back to get. All right, so that's a good start. Look around, see what else I can get out of here. Look at that manganese glass. All right. Well, I'm glad I set a lot of these aside. I've got three, I think, in my bag there so far. So, and here's a nice little cruet I've left behind. embossed amber liquor bottle. I'll take that. That one's a screw top. Nice shape bottle though. Like a lady's leg. Amber squib. I'll take that one. Crown top. Hmm. Don't know if I want that one or not. I might, obviously, I'll come back here again. Look at that. Still got the lid on it. Imported wines. It's a wine bottle. Nice. Let's see some of the stuff I left behind. That one's all cracked. There's a bunch more over there. Yeah, this place is gonna be loaded. I gotta come back here again. Just haven't got the time today. There's another one of those. I'll take that. There's three more of these. Well, there's one. Corker. Another corker. Another corker. And a nice big milk glass. Beauty. There's one of those. Oh, that one's broke. There's a Raleigh's bottle. And there's another squib. All kinds of stuff here. There's a square Raleigh's bottle. Alright, that's going to be it for now. I just want to get in and out. And uh, I'll be back at another time here. Yeah, folks, I've left a pile of stuff here. Here's even a milk glass one here with a proper lid on it yeah definitely definitely got to get back here i just have this plastic bag with me today and it's chock full in my pocket so head back through the snow there and back to the vehicle see you on the next one many many minutes later good day folks i come back to a spot here that i was to i don't know a month or so ago probably now i guess and there was the ground was still frozen at the time and there was a bit of snow on the ground still but i did find a marble in that little that's just a small little hole right there probably about 10 inches round but at the time i found a marble there and a coin uh, just a maybe a 1940s penny and a few other odds and ends nothing uh real exciting but like i say I'm back here to dig around a little better today. I got 
shovel with me, the mattock. That's my glove there. But the first thing I just found right here, check it out. That's an old clay pipe, folks. Or what's left of one. I just pulled that out right here. I'm just sort of surface hunting right now. So, that's a good sign. There could be some stuff deeper in there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to dig around a bit. And if anything comes out, I will definitely be getting you back up on. Here's open. Okay, so speaking of finding marbles, folks, <laughs> here's the first good find right here. Just scrape that up. Nice. Oh, there we are, back on camera again. Nice red and blue. Almost orange and blue, I guess. Swirly pattern, a little bit of white in there mixed in with it. Nice, I better put that in my pocket so I don't want to lose that. All right, that come out right here. Lots of little bits and pieces in there. Now, I'm not 100% sure what sort of site we got going on here. I'm almost getting the impression like there might have been a house up there at one time that's been plowed over the bank here because there's, there's a little bit of everything in here, including stuff like this. Big clay pipe like you might see uh, in a house. Anyways, I'll keep going. And I got one more find, folks. The next half decent one. Right here, once again, I just seen it roll down. And it is another marble. Ooh, a nice yellow and white one. Oops. <laughs> right into the camera there. <laughs> He's doing pretty good so far this year for marbles. Not sure if I got them all posted yet or not in videos, but uh, that's a nice one there, too. All right, we're on to the marbles here so far today. What's this right here I see? Sticking out. Look at that. Little perfume vial with a brass lid on it. Nice. Cool little find. Just sitting that in there. Got a few other weird looking things coming out here too. Check that out. Old light fixture. Just taking two bulbs. Pretty cool. Well, here's these two marbles here. Cleaned up. You get a better look at them. Both nice looking marbles. It might be worth going back and scraping on that bank a little bit more to see if there's any more of them turn up. Well, they're there. This is definitely starting to look like a old house remains here. I got a big old pipe sticking up here. I gotta haul that out. Right here, I'm guessing this is a door handle, porcelain doorknob. Yep, that's what it is. It's cracked up pretty good. Let's check it out. Old one. I've got lots of these black ones, white ones. I don't know what other colors they come in. But anyways, oh yeah, this here just come out too. I'm going to start playing chess here soon. Or <laughs> checkers, rather. <laughs> That's the second one I got. Two black ones. <laughs> Let's keep going. Well, folks, I am convinced now there is some older stuff in here, but this just seems to be so scarce. This here was a shell button, but uh, as you can see, it's all but disintegrated here pretty much. Well, it's still got some thread on it, too. A shell button made out of some sort of shell. Let's keep going. Well, so far, folks, it's looking like more 
the relics than anything coming out. Not so much for glass. But I do have the base of a bottle sticking out right here. I'm going to pull that and see if it's anything. Nope. Some weird little powder or I don't know. Some sort of toiletry bottle. I'll say that. Shampoo maybe. Anyways, it's a neat shape, but not something I'm going to be keeping. Oh, I'm scraping away, folks. I didn't even see this sitting down right at my feet here. <laughs> Check this out. This is one of them hard rubber racers. There might even be a toy manufacturer name in there somewhere. I might keep that and clean it up. Check it out. I think that guy's missing his head. Yeah, he definitely had a head at one time. Looks like it's pink and white or red and white. <laughs> All right, cool find. Okay, so there's definitely toys in here, so that's good to know. A little knob just come out. And check this out. I'm pretty confident that's two porcelain doorknobs still attached together. And that is exactly what that is. Right on. Yeah. Either a building was pushed down over this bank or one was demolished somewhere and then dumped here. One or the other. There's just too much household uh, building supply sort of stuff here. So, <laughs> right on. Just my speculation, of course. Well, I'm going to get out of here, folks. It just isn't feasible to keep digging here. I got two marbles, which were awesome finds. But that's basically it. Nothing else really worthwhile. So, down the road, that's where I'll always be. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, where's the kid are going then? <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>